During an interview on Real America's Voice, the computer repair shop owner, who turned over Hunter Biden's alleged laptop to the FBI, now says that many reports about photographs on the device are misinformation. Take a look. That's what caused me to do a deep dive in the laptop once it became my property. During okay. that time, I saw a lot of photos. I did not see a lot of photos that are being reported to be seen. Now, with okay. that said, uh, I do know that there have been multiple attempts over the past year and a half to uh, insert questionable material into the laptop, as in not physically, but passing it off this misinformation or disinformation as coming from the laptop. And that is a major concern of mine because I have fought tooth and nail to protect the integrity of this drive and to sure. to jeopardize that is going to mean that everything that I sacrifice will be for nothing. The laptop's contents were previously described by the New York Post and the Daily Mail, which highlighted salacious personal material reportedly found on the hard drive. Hunter has never confirmed the laptop belonged to him, though he has acknowledged it is a possibility. The Times and the Washington Post more recently wrote that they were able to verify some of the records on the laptop, citing the assessment of outside experts. More specifically, though, the Post wrote that nearly 22,000 emails had the markings of authenticity, per the experts, though more than 200,000 other files could not be verified. The Post reported that it was provided a copy of the laptop by Jack Maxey, an associate of former Trump advisor Steve Bannon. Many mainstream news outlets initially resisted reporting on the contents of the laptop during the 2020 campaign, and social media companies like Facebook and Twitter worked to limit the spread of the outlets that did over concerns about the provenance and veracity of the reporting. Republicans, in turn, said a legitimate news story was being suppressed because it was about Democrats. Hunter wrote about his cycle of addiction and sobriety in his 2021 memoir, Beautiful Things. He wrote at one point that he was drinking a quart of vodka a day. At another, he lived with a homeless woman who was also his dealer. Some sources said in the latest news reports about the investigation that his past issues with substance abuse may influence authorities insofar as it could indicate he had compromised decision making. Hunter has since spoken about finding new peace and stability and enduring sobriety while living on the West Coast, where he spends his time painting and raising a young son named after his late brother, Bo, with wife, Melissa Cohen. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.